Well, hello everybody, Smith here, and welcome to another Dinosaur Showcase. We've got a new add-on for you today, guys, called Prehistoric Plus. Uh, it came out early, well at the end of last year, and it's been updated in January. And as you can see, guys, it's got a Jeep. And the Jeep actually works, actually, and it makes a noise. Listen to that. Wow. So it's pretty damn cool, to say the least. Yeah, so you get a Jeep. Uh, and there are a number of dinosaurs and two versions of the add-on, which is really cool. Let me just get out of here, guys. There we go. Right, okay. So, yes, we've got two versions of the add-on. We've got a paleontologist version and we've got the free-form dinosaur version where the dinosaurs spawn in the world, which is really cool. Version 1 didn't work on bedrock, so hence there was no point. And in version 2, it all works. But please follow the instructions how to install it for PE and bedrock uh, because I had a little trouble. But once it works, it works really well. Now, this paleontology uh, version has a load of fossil blocks which you need to go and find uh, to then use with the machine, the incubator. Uh, so there is uh, some reinforced glass and we got some fences as well, which I might show off in the other world, not this one. So you've got marine fossil, uh, normal fossil, and you have avian fossil. Uh, the marine fossil is found in beaches etc but most and all the fossils can be found in the mesa biome and the desert biome uh, and then the point is in paleontology mode you go hunting for fossils and luckily we've got a great big hole here for you to have a look at uh, and that i thought I expected them to be widespread now they're supposed to spawn between 20 and lower but thankfully as you will see here guys Mind you, you need a bit of a, a thing to find these. So here's some fossils here. Because I've got the 64 by 64 textures on. You can easily spot the fossils as well. Uh, so there's the normal fossils here. And then as you go down, you'll find some more fossils. That's fossil here. See the difference between that fossil and the iron. So it is advisable. I would advise you to put... Uh, the uh, to put a texture pack on and there's more here look so you can get the three different types of fossil in quite abundance in this particular biome but as you can see I just wanted to show it here keep going down and uh, that's iron uh, I was looking around for different fossils uh, but you do go I know I thought this was so beautiful that uh, yeah it was so worth it to see but you can see you'd have a lot of trouble trying to find some of these fossils because they're sort of hanging but you can literally mine and strip mine for the fossils you can see them here and then the point is you bring back the dinosaurs to life and we've got 11 dinos a new one was added on version 2 so I will go to the other world uh, to show you also it asks in the other world before you install it non-paleontology mode you still have to install the paleontology switch uh, which is actually quite easy to do you just get basically go to settings on setup so you go to the behavior pack you go to the active and you can click on it and you can change it between paleontologist and i'll show you what the new world and in this particular behavior pack activated this is switched to naturally spawning but it does say you have to do the paleontologist in the world first so we'll go and head over to the other world and straight away guys you can see a couple of the oh look it's sleeping oh hello how cute are you oh oh it makes noises as well so there you go guys for your showcase but these spawn naturally in the desert area you can see we have got a mass desert and mesa my view is is create a world and check whether there is desert and mesa nearby and then once you've got that world you're pretty well set up for both versions i feel this one has got a uh, beautiful beautiful uh jungle mesa desert uh oh it's got quite a lot really it's really good let's just have a quick look at the there is the seed guys there is the seed Anyway, so we're going to show you the dinos. Uh, I was just looking to see if any more spawned in other areas. Uh, oh, there's some down there. Is there something just spawned in? But literally, you, ju you just wait. And what you'll find is the dinosaurs spawn. Oh, that's not a dinosaur. Yeah, so if you walk... Oh, look. So because I uh, also uh, spawned 
the paleontology the paleontologist also came into the world i don't know how far it goes though because you need paleontology i think in the world to create uh, the fossils further abroad right let's get cracking and show these cute dinos so we're in the back in the new world and yeah all the so the even if you put paleontology that means you get the stuff spawning in any way you create the world uh, there was quite a few around here just have a look there's one there so you've got different fossils already so it's good my view is go and find a world find the area uh, and it just definitely spawns the uh, fossils in anyway let's get back to where we're going to showcase so we got two water creatures first we got the Dunkleoti Dunkleotis Dunkleotis let's see what this looks like well in fact let's just have a quick look what it looks like outside whoa Wow, sir. Let's see what it looks like in the water then. Oh, wow. Oh, that is vicious. That is superb. Very impressive. Very impressive indeed. Yes, look at that. Oh, they're obviously going after stuff. Wow, sir. They're going to, I think they're going to go. Wow. So we got the RTX on. Oh, I wish they would eat these. The next thing is the Plesiosaurus, my favorite water creature. Let's put this over here, guys. <gasps> yes, it's a blue one. We've got no orange ones. But we've got the standard blue ones. And you can see all the animations are here. I wonder whether the Dunkleus would eat it. Yes, yes. So you can't have the two creatures together. Yeah, very sad, guys. Very sad. Uh, so I haven't seen any water creatures naturally spawn, although I've not waited. Oh, look, they, they spawn. I've not naturally waited long enough to see. Uh, the fish is spawn. So those are the two water creatures. I do like these. Very nice. There we go. Right, allow the one flying creature. We'll do this by the jungle. Let's have a look at this, guys. Oh, 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 wow. In fact, they will pick villagers up, if I'm correct. There's a picture that showed them pick villagers up. It's very much in the older style of Minecraft, the traditional style of dinosaurs in Minecraft, which is really good, like fossil and archaeology and others as well. But it's very nice, isn't it? It'd be nice to have some different colours uh, of them. Hey, look at that. That's one of the <laughs> Triceratops spawned by this. Try, I wanted to try these on the village. I wanted to see if they captured the villagers. I wanted to have a look at this. Uh, 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 oh, oh. They are chasing villagers, but will they will they take them? Let's have a look. Yes, they attack the villagers. Oh, carry the villager off as well. There's a picture of the villager being carried. So they do attack the villagers. So it wouldn't be very good to have those in the village. Right, let's get back over here. Uh, so compies. Let's have a look at the compies. Oh, little compies, guys. There we go. I'm glad to see they got noises. So the trike we just saw over there, and they, we saw that they naturally spawn. I want to head back to the desert area. Let's have a look. Oh, listen to that. Wow. And as you notice, there are babies as well. How cute. Oh, I'll talk about the goats in a minute. There's new goats, by the way, that come with this particular add-on. Wow, is that? Stego! Now that's a traditional stego if I ever seen one. Oh. Lovely jubbly. Nice. A patasaurus. This is the newest creature in version two, guys. It's a Oh. Patasaurus gets in attacked. We'll come over here, I think. Let's put another one out here, guys. Wow. They're obviously very fast as well. Oh, I can't remember if we can uh, ride them. Very cool, Patasaurus. Right, now the violent creatures. <laughs> uh, Velociraptor. Oh, these are Velociraptors. Oh my God. I wondered what they were when they were first born, but I expected they may have been Velociraptors. Good sounds. I'm going to go to sleep, of course. 
<laughs> right, we got a, hopefully this is the, what I think it's going to be because I haven't seen it. Spinosaurus. Oh, it's a different color. Well, I was expecting a different color. I didn't expect that color, but that's really nice. That's original, isn't it? We haven't seen anything like that for a while. That's a really nice Spino. Really good skin. A lot of effort gone into that. And the cl claws as well, look. Wow, they are really good. Right, last but not least, guys, is the T-Rex. And the goat. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. That's cool. Right, so we have a goat. <laughs> yes, come on, feed on the goats. You'd think they would feed on the goats. Here we go. Yeah, feeding on the goats. So the goats come with the add-on as well, guys. Oh, what about, shall we do, will the Spinosaurus fight the T-Rex? Oh, yes. Oh, there's two T-Rexes on the Spino. Oh, the Spino can bite back, though. Wow. It take a while to have a fight. We should really oh look the little goats are now. Hey, Spino got tagged. Got tagged. Anyway, there you have it, guys. Nice little add-on. Works in PE and uh, Bedrock, and obviously you can set it up to be Paleo or otherwise. Excellent. Great job. Uh, go and have a look at the MC pedal page, guys, and I'd like to see your comments on it. Thank you very much indeed. If you're still here, go on press that like button for me. It really helps to get all these. Uh, dinosaur and animal videos out. I have got hundreds of dinosaur add-on and mod videos and uh, many more to come guys and animals, Minecraft animals as well, as well as other videos which I do. Thank you very much and bye-bye.